New developments tonight in the alleged drunk driving crash that killed two people at the Park Tavern in St. Louis Park this month. The Hennepin County attorney is adding third degree murder charges against 56 year old Stephen Bailey. Ellen Gallus explains why the charges have been upgraded. Investigators continue to examine new evidence, and these new charges come after watching surveillance video from the parking lot that day. Prosecutors say it shows the driver hitting two cars in the parking lot and trying to speed away before plowing into the patio. There is new information about the moments that led up to this deadly crash on the patio at Park Tavern on September 1st. After viewing surveillance video, prosecutors are filing two new third-degree murder charges against Stephen Bailey. He still also faces two counts of criminal vehicular homicide and nine counts of criminal vehicular operation. According to an updated criminal complaint, Bailey hit two other cars in the parking lot that day. The first was a parked car, and after accelerating at a high rate of speed in what appears to be an attempt to flee the scene, the complaint goes on to say that Bailey then drives toward an oncoming SUV and hits the rear driver's side without slowing down and continued to accelerate toward the patio. According to the complaint, his blood alcohol level was more than four times the legal limit to drive. A written statement from the Hennepin County Attorney's Office says the video shows that Mr. Bailey would have had a clear view of the patio, tables, umbrellas, and the numerous individuals seated outside from the time he pulls into the lot throughout his course of travel. Methodist ICU coordinator Gabe Harvey and Park Tavern employee Christina Fulkertz were killed in the crash, and nine others were injured. The Hennepin County Attorney's Office is not releasing that surveillance video because the case is still under investigation and because it wants the victims and their families to view the video privately in the time and manner that they choose. That office is still also looking for more victims and more video from that day. Reporting in the newsroom, Ellen Gallis, 5 Eyewitness News.